Looking at this example, we can see that we have very minimum dimensions on this one. Now this diameter that you see here of 2, that applies to all three of the circles that are on the outside. Normally you would have something like 3x or 3 places or typical behind it or TYP and that stands for typical. But in this case they just decided to go as minimal, minimalistic as they possibly can. So in this case it's alright to make an educated guess or an assumption that the outside diameter for these three circles should be 2. The other diameter we have is on the inside and it has a diameter of 4.5. So looking at that dotted circle on the inside, I can see that. And it tells me that I have a triangle going around this. Well, anytime I use or I see geometric shapes that look like this, that makes me want to use polylines. Sorry, not polylines, polygons. So I'm going to use a polygon to go around this and create it. And then that way it'll give me the centers of all of my circles located at those endpoints of that polygon. Now you do have to remember that you're going to have circumscribed or inscribed when you're des deciding what type of polygon you have created. And you can see that the sides of my circle is touching the sides of my circle. So that tells me that my polygon is going to be inscribed, I'm sorry not inscribed, circumscribed around my circle. So it's going to be circumscribed. Alright, so let's switch over to AutoCAD and go ahead and create this. Okay, so I'm going to start with a circle. Center diameter. It's asking me to specify the center point of my circle. So I'll click somewhere on my screen. And what I usually like to do is kind of move my cursor away so I can kind of see that circle previewing. Then I will type in 4.5. Next, I'm going to create my polygon that goes around it. Before I do that, let's go ahead and make sure that we have all the same running O snaps on. Mainly because I'm going to use the quadrant when I specify the direction of my polygon. The polygon is going to be listed here underneath the rectangle. So let's choose polygon. The number of sides it has, 3. And to tell AutoCAD you're ready for the next step, you have to hit the Enter button. Next, I need to specify the center of my polygon. Well, it's located at the center of my circle. And now we have that question, inscribed or circumscribed? So we're looking at the drawing beforehand, I determined that it's going to be circumscribed because my sides are touching. And now I'm going to go and click on this quadrant of my circle. Now you can see that that circle and my triangle is located in the right position. Next let's go ahead and put the circles that have a diameter of 2 along the outside. So I'll choose circle, center, diameter. I'll place the center point along this end point. And once again you'll see that I always, once I click the center point of my circle, I kind of pull my cursor away just so I can preview the circle. Diameter should be 2 and then hit the enter button. Alright, so next we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to hit the enter button again. I'll select on this endpoint. It's the same size circle as my last one, so hit enter again. Do the same thing at the bottom, so I'll just hit the enter button. Select this endpoint, pull away from it, same size circle as my last one, so select the enter button again. Now I need to put lines going across it. Unfortunately, there is no quick way of doing this. So I'm going to start with a line, hold down the shift button and right click, select tangent, then I will click along the tangent edge of this circle. Then I'm going to shift right click again, and then I'll choose tangent, and click here. Now I have to hit the escape button 
to escape out of that command because if I try to go again, it's going to cross into my circle. So I'll do that again. Line, shift right click, tangent, select your tangent point, shift right click again, tangent, and then select your tangent point here, and then escape. Last time, line, shift right click, tangent, select the tangent here, shift right click, tangent, and I'll select the tangent here, then escape out of the command. I'm not going to worry about putting the center mark that's running through it, but I will show you how to go ahead and create the layers and put these on the correct layers. The layer properties button is the one that you're going to select to bring open our layer property dialog box. Once you get your layer property dialog box, you want to create a new layer. I'm just going to call the first one Center. Let's go ahead and select the color and make it red. Okay. And where it says Continuous, select that. You should get another dialog box up here. Select the word Load. Bring you open one more dialog box. I will scroll down to the word Center. Select OK. Select the word Center here and then select OK. Now you're going to see that that layer that you created called Center is red and the line type is Center. Once I select this new icon to create a new layer, it's going to take the properties of my old one. So I'll type in the word hidden. Let's make it on a blue layer. So I'm going to select the actual blue there. And it's going to be color number five or blue. OK. Select the word center underneath my line type. Load. And I'm going to scroll till I find the word hidden. OK. Make sure that you select it here where it says hidden. And then select OK. Now you can see both of those layers are created. You have the colors and you have line types. Go ahead and close the dialog box. And now to put these on the correct layers, I'll select the object that I want to move first to that layer. Then I'll come up to the drop down and select here. And then I'll choose the word center. Now after you do this, hit the escape button twice and that's just going to make sure that you don't have that object selected anymore. Now select your inside circle. Go to the drop down. Select hidden. Escape twice. So it's really good practice to put things on the correct layers mainly because you have options to turn them on and off and you can control a lot of stuff with that. Okay, so that should be all that we need to do for this drawing. Hopefully you enjoyed it.